Hello, uh, you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a law school content. And uh, if you're... Uh, uh, let me... Hello, you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a law school content. If you want to become a lawyer, but you think you're not cut off for... Uh, cut off? Cut out? Last na, last na. Promise na. Okay. Hello, you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a law school content. If you really want to become a lawyer but you think you're not cut out for law school or if you want to go to a law school or to get into a law school but you don't know where to start, what to do, then this video is definitely for you. Hello everyone, uh, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Ralson. I am an incoming first year at the UP College of Law. Um, and I decided to make this video because before when I was planning to, to you know, to apply for law school, uh, I really had a pause on YouTube ng mga ganitong content. Um, pero during that time, I wasn't really able to find a lot of videos that I find, you know, helpful for me. So yeah, that's why I decided uh, to make this video or hopefully this channel to focus on law school content so that I can also help you guys. I know marami, marami din talaga uh, na naghahanap na ganitong videos to help them out in their preparation uh, in, you know, for law school. So, yeah. That's the main goal of this video or this channel. And uh, now, again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm an incoming freshman at the UP College of Law. So, on this video, I'll be sharing with you my experience and also probably some tips if gusto niya talaga na sa UP Law or this is actually applicable din naman if you're planning to get into any law school here in the Philippines. So, I'll try to share as much as I can uh, about my experiences during the process, the admission process, then some tips and also probably some background. So, hopefully, I can make more videos um, to document my life, you know, as a law student as well. Uh, but other than that, so actually I graduated um, college in 2012, so it's been nine years na. Um, I graduated from UP Los Baños or UPLD with a degree in uh, bachelor's, uh, Bachelor of Science degree in Development Communication. But again, it was uh, so many years ago. Then I also took up my uh, master's degree also in Development Communication and I just graduated in 2018, so that was three years ago. Um, but yeah, I've been planning, I've always wanted to become a lawyer or at least to go to law school uh, to pursue this dream of becoming a lawyer. And this year, this year ko lang siya nagawa. I've been working for uh, nine years already and I thought I, you know, I didn't have the time, you know, the resources as well to apply for law school kasi um, hindi naman madali. Hindi madali mag law school and definitely it's not um, that uh, you know, somehow it's expensive pa rin to go to a law school. Pero I'm very happy uh, and I think fortunate enough na nagawan ko ng paraan this year. And yeah. So, and uh, by the way, so I'm recording this video. Anong date na ba ngayon? September 13. And um, we're currently uh, on our registration period sa so UP Diliman and uh, start of classes sa so Friday na. So I only have a few days left to well to, to 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 chill or to relax anyway going back to the main topic of this video again as mentioned i just like to share some of my experiences and some tips as well that you can uh, hopefully that hopefully can help you as well if you ever decide to apply uh for you know for a law school or to go to a law school um so my experience Somehow, it's very uh, different. It's a very interesting experience for me, or probably for all of us who apply this year. Again, 2021, as you know, may no pandemic, COVID, so very different talaga yung process. But um, I'll be sharing, the. I'll also be sharing probably the difference of the process, no? the admission or the application process before, before pandemic and right now, and now na, during pandemic. So before, Usually, um, they uh, open the application. They would open application, I think, fourth quarter of the year. So, let's say, um, you know, 2020, ganyan, October, November, atan nila open. 
and then of course uh, you need to submit your application to fill out some like forms to submit some documents and all and then usually ang UP Law Aptitude Examination or yung UP LAE ginagawa siya every February um, thir third week or last week of February siya usually then they would release the results of the pastors or the qualifiers um, a few months uh, later so February, March, I think uh, April or May uh, but this year due to the pandemic um, so ang nangyari ng process was that um, they opened the application January of this year, again, 2021. Then the deadline of uh, submission application was end of January. But they extended it uh, until, I think, Feb 15. This year has been very challenging. Not I know not just for me, but for most of us or every one of us. Pero sabi ko, since uh, work from home lang naman, nasa bahay lang po. And then even the process, the application process, you don't need to go naman to UP to submit anything. So... Usually, parang online lang, you have to send, you know, email or submit online. So, sabi ko, sige, try ko na rin. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, I submitted my application, I think, parang towards the end na or all, almost deadline of the submission. And then, after that, um, ang usual uh, process would be, so, once you submit your application, before you have to submit the documents to the, um, to UP Law, UP Dalaman, you have to submit like your application form, some documents, I think like transcript of records, um, certification of your GWA in undergrad or yung um, yeah, general rated average mo. So ganang. then you have to pay of course. But uh, this year, so we submit lang kami online or support and also even the payment was done online uh, via online banking, so I think like a fund transfer. So yeah. Uh, and then, kung before, uh, once you complete the uh, application, mo, then you just need to wait for the schedule of the LAE. And usually, naman, um, meron ang set even during the application. So you just need to go there um, to take no? uh, to, to take the LAE or the exam. And then after that, after a few months, they would release the list of qualifiers or passers. And uh, probably it's good... Uh, Another important thing to share then, because uh, usually they change the process. Like for example, after the LAE, there were some instances before na merong matinatawag na outright passers or parang after LAE, uh, when you pass the LAE, then that's it. You're uh, qualified for admission to UP Law. But meron ding mga cases na um, so merong outright passers, then they would release additional an additional list of like qualifiers however for interview so they would need to undergo an interview process for them to you know uh to be identified if pasado ba sila or hindi then there i think in 2018 ganun yung then 2019 i believe all um applicants who qualified after um, the upli they were required to undergo the interview process. So, lahat na po masa ng UPLA, eh, uh, they were asked or they were required to to undergo man, uh, the interview process with the admissions committee of the UP law. And then, uh, for last year, 2020, uh, start ng pandemic, so, um, they were, so, of course, they had to change a lot of things then when it comes to the process, the admission um, instructions and process due to the pandemic or due to the limitations brought about by the pandemic. No? Um, especially yung mga face-to-face -face na mga events or mga face-to-face -face na halangan gawin. Especially the the law aptitude examination or yung lion, even the interview. So what they did, act, no, um, for last year pala, since February naman ng lion, they were able to to complete naman. Uh, they did pa a face-to-face -face or on-site um, exam. But after that, uh, kung naalala niyo pa, so by March, di ba, nag-start na yung mga quarantine and all. So, so yun. So after nun, um, kung initially siguro the plan is for the, the, yun din, the qualifiers or pa passers to undergo an interview. However, medyo hindi na yun nang, nangyari. So what they did was that uh, yung mga pumasa ng UPLA last year, 2020, uh, they were asked to do an online like an assessment or a preparatory course. Then, as far as I know, there are around they, there were around like 340, 50 um, passers after the ULI, UPLI, and then after the, the course, there were only around 305, 310, I think. 
but going back to our process this year so medyo masahirap uh, uh, mas mahirap yung process namin this year because so after namin ma-complete yung application online again around January, February so the next step na uh, and we didn't know what to expect actually um, so around March they asked us they asked the applicants who well who qualified no? kasi syempre they had to evaluate or assess pa din the applications so after the application they asked um, everyone to work on a, you know like a prep course sabi ko di ba no 2020 after na lang eh, nag prep course sila but in our case uh, start pa lang they were asked they asked the, the applicants to to do like a prep course or a pre-LAE assessment or activity uh, para as far as I know a few days yun so uh, we had to work on we had to read had to watch some videos and answer uh, or complete some assessments so dun pa lang nag-start na yung assessment uh, namin then uh, natapos yun around March oh, sorry March yun yung time na yun and then so we had to wait for the next step uh, so imagine during the time so we really didn't know if you know what what would what the next step would be uh, after a few weeks i think april 15 april 16 uh they already released the names of those who qualified or at least those who passed down the pre then during that time uh well initially i think parang around 2000 yung nag-apply and then I think after the pila, eh, of course, considering then probably those who really didn't uh, push through with the pila eh, or those who didn't submit the necessary documents. So around, so April 16, they released a name. So I think around 1,500 uh, those um, so kami yung qualify to take the UPLA. However, the catch was so they released the names mid April, I think April 15 or April 16. However, the date of the UPLA was May 16. Na. So we only had like more or less a month to prepare for the UPLA. Well, unless nagre review ko na talaga before that. Last few weeks of uh, March, or at least before my start yung April, um, I think naman I did well sa UPLA. So I started reviewing, pero hindi pa rin masyado ako kasi nga, um, I wasn't really sure. Pero sige. Now, let's focus uh, on LAE. So, I'll be sharing with you my experience, what I did, uh, how I prepared, uh, so probably some tips as well. So, if you're not aware, but hopefully, uh, if, you know, at this point, if you really want to go to UP Law, hopefully, you're, you've done your research na rin, or at least you're doing your research right now, what you need to know, what you need to study, what you need to prepare. So, UP Law, like I said, it's an exam. It's, um, um, well, it's called Law Aptitude Examination. So, it covers or there are different type of subject tests or exams. So, usually, naman ito, uh, for like it will assess uh, or yeah, it will assess your communication skills like English, language proficiency, uh, verbal reasoning, vocabulary, so meron mga anjan, uh, yung mga ganan. So, grammar, um, subject verb agreement, um, and then you know, vocabulary. We also have logic, critical thinking, or uh, logical reasoning. There are then uh, reading comprehension, math or quantitative reasoning. So, and uh, also uh, what else? Uh, general knowledge or general information. So for me, kasi um, sabi ko nga, I don't know if I have like any, but I have strengths. Kasi for me, mahirap the logic, mahirap the math. So, siguro if I would have to, to choose na lang then kung kailangan ko talaga magkaroon ng strength, I would say um, language proficiency siya or grammar. Um, kasi I'm confident naman. Kasi ako, comfortable ako with, you know, uh, you know con- uh, comfortable ako in answering questions about subject verb agreement, tenses, mga ganyan. However, um, hindi rin ako confident when it comes to, to va- vocabulary. Feeling ko, weakness ko yung logic or logic and math or uh, quantitative reasoning. By the way, sorry, I forgot to share then um, abstract reasoning. Um, but yeah, uh, I think for me, abstract reasoning, I also enjoy it. I enjoy answering para abstract reasoning. Pero for feeling ko kasi baka marami din ang mga ganun. So, 
it's really difficult to to assess or to know talaga um uh, kung saan ba dapat mag-focus so that's why uh, my number one um tip for you guys should be yon to know your strengths or weaknesses kasi it would help you then parang with your game plan or with your um preparation like for example if you think okay ka naman sa math then you Uh, can focus more on other subjects, but I would advise that you still um, review or prepare for, let's say, in your case, for math, because uh, you need to refresh then your, uh, you know, your memory or your mind, especially if you're like me, na matagal na ako nagaral. Um, so yon, that's my number one tip. Siguro know your strengths and weaknesses, so you know what to do. Uh, how you can do that is number one, uh, take like uh and dog ito uh if for example especially if you have reviewers um uh, meron naman dong mga diagnostic tests or pretest so it helps then talaga it helps for you to assess no or to evaluate kung saan ka dapat mag-focus or sa uh, kung saan ano yung strengths and weaknesses mo so that's number one. and then number two, uh it also helps if you practice answering questions. So, uh, it's very important for you to to improve your test taking skills. And I'm not just talking about answering questions. Uh, ito yung pinaka nahirapan ako sa UPLA eh, yung time. Really, yung time yung time constraint or time pressure. So, it's very important that you do your research. Kung sa case namin, around 100 55 items in total siya, pero you're only allowed to answer the questions around less than 2 hours. Around 1 hour, 55 minutes. So, di ba? Uh, I think less than 1... Ay, sorry. Parang galang. So, less than 1 minute per item. So, yun. So, you really have to practice and how... Then, how can you do that? So, yun nga. By answering practice, test tests, sample, sample exam, sample test. You can find a lot online or in uh, you can also use um, reviewers. Um, maghanap lang yung online. Uh, I, I uh, use actually two. Pero, two reviewers. Uh, ito yung, pag nag-search naman kayo online, mga UBLI reviewers, makikita nyo ito. Um, Siyempre, I bought, I bought uh, a reviewer kasi I know na I read it. Well, I knew na I really needed to prepare. Pero yun nga, hindi rin ako masyadong nakapag-review. But still, I know na nakahel pa rin naman yung mga reviews. So, going back. So, yun. You need to practice talaga answering questions uh, or answering sample tests or exams. Pero make sure that you time yourself when answering. Kasi, minsan, um, easy naman talaga to sagot na to, to answer um, mga questions. If, for example, it's a math quantitative question, if you have a lot of time, It's easy to to answer naman questions even for example reading comprehension kung wala time constraint definitely it's easy to answer these questions that's why you have to really um, practice yung in the time yourself so in yung second tip ko and then third would be um, when um, answering questions when answering a question make sure that you're aware of the time so same naman However, parang what I'm trying to say is that huwag ka masyadong mag-dwell on single item. For example, number one, if you don't know the answer, um, make an educated guess, parang ganyan. Um, again, uh, you can also use yung, uh, uh, you can eliminate, kasi let's say it's uh, uh, multiple choice naman, so you have four choices lang. So you can eliminate, for example, two, one or two, then you can answer answer na. For me kasi don't skip na. Uh, sa akin lang naman yun na. So don't skip na kasi you have a lot of items pa to cover or to answer. So sometimes, mahirapan to bumalik. Uh, especially in our case pala, that's why it's um, more difficult I think because it was an online. It was an online exam. While, uh, of course, yes, I always, I I mean, I use my laptop on a regular basis or on a daily basis sa work nahirapan pa rin ako dun sa sa online. For me, better pa rin na pen and paper uh, or yung parang on-site exam pa rin. Kasi, you know, uh, yung, syempre, technology and sometimes yung pag-scroll and all, so mahirap pa rin siya. 
So, ang naging suggestion ko, if ever, like, for next year, or kung kailan ka may exam, na online pa rin siya, better na siguro sagutan mo na lahat. Huwag ka na mag-skip. Though, I think you can flag as well, pero given the time, mahirap pa rin mo na. So, yun. Um, huwag ka masyadong focus uh, sa isang item, then sagutan, try mo lang na masagutan lahat. But of course, make uh, educated guess naman. Uh, huwag naman basta mag-tag uh, ito, shotgun. Huwag ka naman mag-shotgun, especially if you have time. However, pag uh, pa, talagang wala na hindi nakain ng time, I would suggest that you try yun, shotgun, or um, usually parang sinasabi nila huwag kang mag-randomize ng sagot. Like for example, you have 10 items left and you only have like 30 seconds. Ah, uh, yeah. You have um, around 10 items pa to answer with, you know, 30 seconds left. So, sagutan mo na siguro ng all C, ganyan, C, D, depende na sa'yo. Pero, mas may chance ka na makakuha ng tama if hindi naman rin yung pag-isap mo. Um, yeah, in my case, uh, I wasn't really expecting to to pass. No? Kasi, I think I failed to answer, I'm not sure, 20, 30 items? Hindi ko na sure. Pero, siguro ganun. And I heard parang meron na ako nakatapos and they had time pa to review. So, sabi ko na, Nako, parang hindi na ako papasa. But yun. And then, uh, another tip would be, uh, try nyo din magsagot or magcheck ng mga LSAT practice test online. I use CAN, K-H-A-N. Um, of course, it's different. For me, uh, LSAT is way or relatively more difficult than LAN. Pero yun yun. Kasi again, babalik tayo dun sa you have to practice. Parang you have to improve your test-taking skills. And sobrang nakakatulong yung LSAT practice. But again, don't expect na it's the same. Pero at least nakakatulong siya for reading comprehension, logic, na ganyan. Uh, and mostly yun. So, yun, another suggestion is to try answering. And again, you can find naman kasi um, free. Free, um, yun resources online or free materials and uh, yeah, in addition to that try to search pa kasi ako I uh, was able to to see that or find other like additional resources um, well, other resources in addition to the, the reviewers that I used um, so yeah and then uh, after like kasi, so again in our case so May 16 siya then we thought na sobrang tagal bago release yung um list of qualifiers or passes. Pero nagulit kami, I think June 10, they already released the final list of um, qualifiers. However, if if you can still remember yung nasabi ko earlier na sometimes mayroong mga outright passers or meron din naman uh, na hindi. So in our case, same siya nung I think 2019 yun. So lahat ng nakapasa ng UPLI uh, were required um, to undergo go to the next step which is the interview so june 10 june 10 yung results na yan and um <laughs> well i was really somehow surprised. of course i was hoping for the best man, but i wasn't expecting especially after the lie um so yeah just to add as well since we're talking about that uh, period or that time so i only applied for uh applied to up law uh, so, I didn't apply to other law schools kasi number one, um, well, I think I I can't afford naman other law schools. So, especially like Ateneo, as a, even like UST, but I know na mahal talaga sa mga law school and I know that I can't afford. Uh, UP is one of the most affordable and of course, syempre, uh, a good law school as well. Um, so, yeah, that's why I didn't apply to other law schools, no? Um, pero after ng, um, ng lae, you know what? As in, after ng lae, sabi ko, ako hindi ako papasa. So, so nag-search ako kung saan pa yung open yung admission, ganyan. And it happened naman na available para open pa yung PUP. And same, no? So, at least affordable. So, I, I applied, no? After, parang yun, after lae, sabi ko, hindi, sure ako hindi ako papasa. Um, pero yun, um, when I um, heard the news na I, I passed naman the initial, yung lae pala. So, I decided not to continue na to pursue my application sa PUP. Pero still, sabi ko nga, hindi pa sure yun kasi meron pang interview. 
So, they released the results June 10, then they announced that they'll be re- releasing then parang schedule, uh, or they'll be announcing a schedule for interview. And, um, siguro, if ever, same pa rin yung um, process next year. No? Again, if you're planning to to go to uh, UP Law or to take UP Law or go through the admission process sa UP Law. So, it's um, possible talaga na dumaan ka ng interview. So, what did I do para for the interview? So, you only had like a few days. Yun nga, they released June 10. Yung, they released the results June 10 and they mentioned lang na um, yung interview gagawin siya ng June. So, we'll, same month or within within the month. Pero they didn't uh, release the dates uh, agad-agad. No? So, parang in my case, June 29, June 29 schedule ko, they only, uh, I was only informed a few days before that. Parang June 25. Uh, ang, ang nangyari, ang interview naging ano siya, June 28 ata to July. Ito. Parang two weeks yun. So, ganun. Um, and how did I prepare? Um, yun lang din, I search online and since I have my, I also had my review. So, meron itong mga example questions. Um, but for me, siguro ang may tips ko lang if ever may interview pa rin next time. Um, you have, you really have to know yourself. Be true to yourself. Especially, uh, kasi they would ask questions na some, probably it, it can be like personal questions. Uh, what you know, what you want to do. So, you just really have to be true to yourself or you have to know yourself. Um, and of course, try to practice. Like yung mga basic questions siguro na uh, why do you want to go to law school? Why do you want to be a lawyer? What are you going to do once you become a lawyer? Mga ganun lang. Uh, so, and you can also check din pala yung application form. No? Kasi some, I think sometimes they also get your questions from your answer sa application form. Pero best to, syempre, to pr- probably practice. Um, kung sabi niyo sarili mo, uh, salamin, try, try to answer some questions for you to be more comfortable lang siguro in answering questions. So, mga gano'n. Um, what else? And, yeah. Um, yun lang. And if you're not comfortable or if you're not confident, wala eh. You really have to do it. So, just practice. Uh, so yeah, and then so again going back to so yun nga, so June twenty nine interview last day of interview for the batch was July two ba? Ah ba? Parang magen July two so waiting game na naman waiting game na naman after the interview so but after a few days again may joy to gulat na naman kasi you're expecting na uh, matagalan pero parang July twelve and gabi na to, I think around 10 or 11 p.m. That's when they release the final list of qualifiers. No? Uh, so, yun na talaga. And I was some, not really surprised, pero I was very happy, of course, knowing that I got in to the UP College of Law because I didn't think that, you know, I was good enough for UP Law or Law School in general because, well, um, Though I graduated from UPLB, so I didn't graduate with honors or Latin honors. So, siguro just to also motivate or to help inspire then, siguro kayo na if you think na you're not good enough for law school. So, my GWA back then was 2.22. So, as in, malayo. Malayo siya sa um, laude, magam lang yun sa mga um, laude. But yeah, uh, I still got in. So, yun. Kasi, um, it just means that, well, it helps. So, it really helps. For example, uh, wala nung masama, diba? If you have good grades, undergrad grades, if you, you know, you have Latin honors, that can help. But, to, to some extent lang siguro, you really need to also do well sa different steps. Especially, siguro, sa UK Lai. Kasi, uh, yeah, again, in my case, uh, ganang mababa yung GWA or undergrad grades ko. But I got in. I got in um, to the UP Law. So, siguro for me, don't be too hard on yourself. If you really want this, just do your best. Prepare. Kasi, sabi nga nila, ano, school, 
it's not really just for like the most intelligent, the smartest. It is for those who are like diligent, who work hard, who are passionate enough, you know, to thrive or to survive in law school. And yeah, um, I think that's what I can share right now. And yun nga, um, I hope that I can make more videos about you know my law school experience because I know I used to search for this kind of you know for this kinds of vid- kind of videos then before talaga and now that I'm here I'll try to document to like document or to record you know my experiences somehow like you know a diary then so that I can go back to it to you know, to my videos hopefully once I'm lawyer na ako. and at the same time so I'm hoping that I can help inspire or motivate other you know people like me na somehow you know, probably you're doubting yourself right now thinking that uh, you don't have a chance getting into like probably your dream school dream law school actually not just for law school even if you're just you know an incoming undergrad or college student um, just try just try do your best um, and if you don't get it it's fine sometimes you know there is something better for you out there or probably you can try again Especially for, uh, by the way, for uh, UP Law, I think you can try na man two or three times. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or if you have any suggestions that you would like me to do, parang videos. But definitely, I'll be making more videos pa once. I start na sa law school and <laughs> so Friday na ata yun. Pero, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, see you again soon. Bye.